And better late than never, I suppose, it's Wolverhampton Wanderers who kick off. And just 32 minutes late. It'll be interesting to see how their long, boring and upsetting journey has affected Crystal Palace. Now Woodfield for Wolves. Turning out into an attacking centre-half bag. A beautiful ball way up to Wharton. And this is Hunt, the man who cost Wolves £40,000. It's a beautiful through ball. Now, number six is Hulsgrove. Who's still loving this long ball on his White House, the Palace skipper. Man, you'll see with an armband on his left arm. Thompson, the left back of the Wolves, out to Wharton. Wolves allowed to strike a very quick blow in this match. But not with shots like that. Burnside, one of the two ex out West Bromwich Albion players playing today for Palace. Uh, Knows for Wolves. Wharton trying his luck inside, and this is Wharton. Centre forward McElroy on the wing, but Yard coming back. And that was hands by Holsgrove. Free kick to Palace. Stevenson with the free kick for Palace. And Kevin trying to get in the game for the first time, not with any success. Throw to Palace. Now Howe back to his outside left yard. Wasn't a bad long one. Pitch just a bit wet on the top, a bit of rain before the kickoff. White House, that was a careless one putting. Walked in possession for Wolves. Palace playing with just three forwards, there are three inside men, Lawson, Kevin, and Burnside staying upfield. Five minutes gone, no score. Stevenson in a spot of bother night Wharton for Wolves and the goal kick. says the referee, Mr. Payne of Sheffield, despite the appeals of some of the Palace fans, throw to Wolves, as they will centre half. Woodfield, Knowles doing a spot of pushing, free kick to Crystal Palace. White House. 
Flowers covering up, not getting that one back as clean as he should have done, and that was a bad tackle, surely, by Woodfield. And Burnside, a feeling that it was inside the area, but the referee, quite definite in where he thinks it's supposed to be. Burnside himself going to take the free kick. Wolves have got 11 men now back in their own penalty area. And I wouldn't have said Woodfield was 10 yards from the ball, but then the referee was near enough to decide that. Well, that's the new Wolverhampton game. What are the odds on it sticking up there? Well, you know where to go if you want a football. So, a throw to Crystal Palace. Oh, everything happening in this game. Corner to Palace. Whitehouse with the corner for Crystal Palace. And goes Stevenson, getting too far underneath it. Has he given a free kick, or is he saying that the goal kick has to be retaken? He's certainly going to have a word with Burnside. It's a free kick. Thompson, the former England player. Ah, Hunt's a bit slow to move into that one. Ron Flowers. Stevenson cutting it off, but here comes Wharton. The Wolves get into the wall a wee bit faster than our Palace. Now, Wagstaff. And the goal kick. by Bannister then. Free kick to Wolves. And this one going to be taken by the centre half back. Woodfield. It's a bit of calling by Jackson and the Crystal Palace goal. Oh, Burnside side down by Woodfield. Free kick to Crystal Palace. That is how they're left back. It hasn't paid off. Here comes Wilson of Wolves, no score, 20 minutes gone. Now Hunt, Hunt lying just behind the main body of four Wolverhampton forwards. His wax up with Thompson coming up on the left wing. Certainly, Wolverhampton cut out most of the work, the other team putting in the shots. 
don't think that so far McLaren has really been troubled in the Wolverhampton goal. calling for it and Flowers covering a lot of ground playing most intelligently it's a good ball from Knowles to McElmoyle and the corner kick Wolves appealing for a penalty for hands the referee was a long way behind the play and the linesman on the far side right up with it Made no move to signal a penalty. Wolves claiming that Stevenson pushed the ball over the line with his hand. Two, four, six, eight white shirts in the penalty area. And a corner. Palace now have nine men back in defence. As Wharton takes the corner for Wolves. That's the goal kick. Lost control of that one, smartly tackled by Thompson. Wagstaff, lively wingman. And there's Thompson going on the left wing. McElmoyle, go kick. There's McElmoyle, the centre forward that Wolves bought from Carlisle United. too long being caught in possession for Wolves to Thompson a couple of former England players there Thompson nice ball to Wagstaff the outside left and the corner to Wolves yet again Crystal Palace calling big Derek Kevin back to look after the tall Woodfield and as Kevin who not clearing it as Woodfield and a wonderful save by Jackson. So still no score. Mike Staff with the corner. There's Woodfield. It's got to be there now. Jackson's got it again. And got himself all tied up with the net as well. What a goalkeeper this youngster is.
And I suppose this is fast stuff, thrustful stuff to please the crowd, but still no goals so far. Wagstaff again. Hackham Wild there. There's Jackson. Splendid form for Crystal Palace. Foul by Lawson. Uh, holding Halsgrove. Free kick. Hosgrove making a good job of looking after Lawson. Oh, Wilson almost fell into the trap then. Oh, White House. Lawson. Oh, Kevin, slow up the mark. Don't think he expected that backfield flick. Number 10 is Knowles, his brother is the Tottenham Hotspur fullback. And in moves McElmoyle, a lovely header, and what a save again. And even the Wolves supporters rising to this brilliant young Crystal Palace goalkeeper. Burnside to Whitehouse. I think that Crystal Palace will be inspired by the deeds of their goalkeeper. Thompson. Being challenged, that is by Long, the right back of Crystal Palace. Lines from back then for a foul, the referee took no notes of him. Lawson to Burnside, but who's coming away with it? Wagstaff for Wolves, but so far too many errors being made in this sort of harem scarum sort of a match so far. Everybody seems to be in too much of a rush. And this is Hunt. Knowles, the side left. Still doing well to retain possession of that one. Wagstaff taking over. Here's Hunt. Corner to Wolves. Well, the short one now, Wagstaff making space for himself. Yard making a lot of ground and falling over himself. What a big clearance by Wilson. Bannister is coming up the right wing, White House. And Lawson moving in, but that's to an McCarron. This is Wharton. And Wilson moving up to join in the attack, the right fullback. McElmoyle on the right wing, Wharton's gone into the middle to join Knowles. And Whitehouse dropping back as the Crystal Palace wingman always do. Now Kevin, he's got the other big fella Lawson not there with him, but he also got number four Flowers. Helped by Wilson. It's five minutes of the first half left. No score. to Wagstaff. Wolves always promising a lot. The Bannister. Now cutting that one off. To Payne and the 
once again flies there for Wolves. Rushing it a wee bit too much. Alastro. White House but no kick to Wolves. Haven't been in any real trouble at all in this match so far. defensive barrier we bit too much for them Thompson neatly taken by Hunt and now McElmoyle beautifully taken by Jackson as Wexstaff is the man laid out there's Wexstaff the Wolverhampton Outside left. And I think too that Jackson is hurt. Jackson, the palace goalkeeper, got a bang on the shoulder, the arm. There's Jackson, so far been the man of the match. Okay, Wagstaff. All right, so too is Jackson. So almost on a half time. Always unsatisfactory dropped ball. Flyers still plays a lot of speed, energy, and skill. His nose. To hunt. Here's Flowers, taking up position so well. McElmoyle and the goal kick. What should be half time any second? And there goes the whistle for half time with the score sheet blank. The well, Wolves had to wait a long time for Crystal Palace to arrive, and they've had to wait a long, long time for a goal, too, haven't they? And I think they can really blame Jackson, the Crystal Palace goalkeeper, who's kept them out so far in this match. But I think so. Thus far, the football has been 
a little too hurried and I think Wolves will have to calm down a bit if they can calm down and really test Jackson with some fiery shots they might well go into the lead in the second half but it's going to have to be a good shot that will beat Jackson the floodlights now on as Crystal Palace playing it all white remember start the second half no score Wolves better side in the first half the likely looking side but watered by this brilliant goalkeeping of Jackson now free kick to Palace foul by Woodfield to take the free kick long the right fullback not able to turn quickly enough to take advantage of that quick chance and Thompson to Wilson the other fullback both fullbacks springboarding away and to attack this is Wharton neatly taken by Knowles that was the move an experienced player it was reminiscent of a man like Ivor Allchurch Hunt and the corner to Crystal Pat uh, to Wolves. Wharton with the corner for Wolves. quicker than our Crystal Palace. McElmoyle and his left wingman Yard going back to challenge. Goal kick. House, but again, Flowers coming. He's played a splendid game, too. That's Thompson. And still this long ball. It's still not paying off. That's coming in the middle. Very strict marking by the Wolves' defence. Flowers on Kevin. Woodfield on Burnside and Holsgrove on Lawson. Oh, no. no. Comes a good looking young player, this boy. time in the match that Kevin has slipped flowers all to no avail Burnside going to take this free kick for Crystal Palace
right spot, so we can try again. Five minutes of the second half gone. No score. Who's been getting this throw? Wolves. Play on, says the referee. This is Knowles, the Wolves' top scorer with 13 goals this season. Wilson, these two fullbacks are operating very well. Now Knowles, and that's the 14th goal he's got this season. And the scorer, Knowles. And the time, 51 minutes. So, Wolves have cracked this ballast event, stake the league 1-0. There's McElmoyle, the man made the final pass to Knowles for that goal, and watch him move. And a beautiful tackle by Stevenson. Well kept in. Keller on the flowers free kick to Wolves the strip man to man marking principle of Wolves paying off this afternoon just because the inside has now gone deep for Palace Woodfield's followed him and there's the corner to Wolves to handle that one and anyway Jackson is injured it's a free kick to Crystal Palace so Jackson all right again free kick to Crystal Palace taken by Stevenson Euros and a half. They answered the referee quite rightly. Knowles is in possession for Wolves. This is Holsgrove, the left half back. Oh, how hesitating with a fatal split second. Now, Woodfield. Almost in trouble. Mr. Palace now getting a wee bit desperate. There are goals and L down. This is Stevenson. Comes the outside left yard. 
and he falls down in face of this challenge from Flowers. What a beautiful ball from Flowers to Horton. Yard chasing back to join the defensive wall. Oh, a fine save by Jackson. Almost sneaked in by the post, didn't it? It was like perpetual motion. This is David Burnside, the side left of Crystal Palace. Palace is majestic and as masterful as ever, up to Hunt. was a good long one but not able to control it bad clearance by Payne this is Wharton and Jackson's even saved that one well it must be a long time since there was a better display of goalkeeping than the one we see in this afternoon Corner to Wolves being taken by Wagstaff. And Knowles pushing. Free kick to Palace. Burnside, there's Lawson, back to Whitehouse. Well, there was a fleeting chance. A fleeting chance for Palace to pull a point out of the match. the anxious Wolves supporters whistling as if they want to hear the welcome sound of the final whistle by our ah, watch there are a couple of minutes left and Kevin coming back to play a very good defensive role ah, so it comes to that side to Lawson Stevenson for Palace. White House. And Wolves now content to pack their goal and hold on to their 1-0 lead. If they can, come away in a breakaway, but they'll take no risks now. This is Wagstaff. Macklemore up to help him, and so too is Wharton. And number 11, Wagstaff again. Macklemore, Wharton. Well, Jackson saved it again. Can Knowles keep it in? Yes. And it looks as like it's all over and Wolves still undefeated since their crushing 9-3 defeat at Southampton. This will be their fourth win. They've also had a draw since then. No. Hunt coming away. That's a good ball to Knowles. And a fine tackle by Stevenson. Referee just 
Taking the watch out of his top pocket. Have a look at it. Now, Bannister for Palace. Whistle due to go any second now. Another victory for Wolves. Comes long for Palace. Throw for Palace. Every Wolverhampton supporter reckons it's time, and it is time. It's all over. Wolves have beaten Crystal Palace one goal to nil.